So you have probably seen a lot of these number counter animations on a lot of YouTube channels for a while, especially on channels like Mr. Beast where he's counting up the price numbers, and you're probably here to see how to make it yourself. So I'm gonna do a little tutorial for After Effects to show you how to make this really simple numerical counter for yourself. But also you can just grab my simple Mogurt file for Premiere Pro and use it there without the need of After Effects. All right, so I'm here on After Effects. I made my composition 16 by nine and just inserted a background image <laughs> so it's easier to see. So what we're gonna do first is create a new text layer. We're gonna type in zero just so we can see. So I'm gonna change the font, the color and add a little bit of stroke so we can see it better. So here we have just one simple text layer with the number. Now click on the text and go to effects, expression controls and add a slider control. Now open the text layer and parent the source text to the slider. All right, so now you can keyframe the slider to whatever number you would like and it's gonna count up. But as you go through the video, you can see all these crazy decimal values. To fix these decimal numbers, we're gonna go into the source text and edit the expression. So we're gonna add parentheses at the very start and at the very end. And then at the start, we're gonna type in math with the capital M dot round. That's it. Now you can see that the numbers are counting up nicely. However, if you want to add a prefix or a suffix, which is the symbol at the very start or a symbol at the end, like a dollar sign, percentage, whatever you would like, you have to go to the source text expressions again. So for a prefix, which is the symbol before that number, we're going to add quotations, add the symbol that we like. I will put the dollar sign, quotations again, space plus space. Now you can see that we have a dollar sign at the beginning of the numbers. In case you want to remove it or change it, just delete it or edit it. And for the suffix, we're gonna do the same thing, but just at the very end. So we're gonna do type space plus space quotations sign that you want to add at the end, like percentage and quotations. And there you go, that's it. That's how you make a really simple numeric counter animation on After Effects that you can adjust, use however you would like. But if you would like to use this number counter animation on Premiere Pro, you would need a Mogurt. So I made this really simple Mogurt that you can get in the description down below and you will be able to use this on Premiere Pro and customize it there. So all you gotta do is when you get the Mogurt downloaded and then you have to put it in the graphics templates in Premiere Pro. Once you do that, this template is gonna show up right here. Then you can just drag it to your timeline. And here's the counter. We can go inside the properties panel. Here we can change the font for the text. So let's go with the luckiest guy. Uh, that's kind of a comic, whatever font. <laughs> we can change the text color. We can change the stroke color. We can change the stroke size. We can also add a drop shadow and we can add a glow if we would like. Once we're done adjusting the style, we can go in the counter control and we can set up our start number, let's start from six, and our end number, which is gonna be 69. We can adjust the animation speed, so how many seconds you need for it to go from six to 69. Let's go with four seconds. And here you can add decimals if you would like to go with more precise numbers. Then we can easily choose to enable either a prefix or a suffix and choose our symbol that we would like. And that's it. That's the simple counter animation Mogurt file that you can get in the description down below or make it yourself. So that's it for this simple tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching through. Uh, make sure to click like. And also, if you would like to join my creative quest, you can click subscribe. I'm going to be sharing my quest to freedom. On this channel, I'm going to try out all sorts of different businesses and show you how to approach them with the latest AI tools and creator tools that we have. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. See you guys.